Hi everyone, Kim here. Um, I thought I'd do a quick um, run through this cake that I've just finished. It'll be leaving the house today, ready for the little boy's um, third birthday party. Um, it's a uh, seven inch on the bottom chocolate and six inch on the top. And the you can't see it from here, but the top's actually sat back on the cake slightly so that I could put the detail in. Um, the horse uh, came from a tutorial off uh, YouTube, um, a lady that did a unicorn. Um, so if you look up fondant unicorn you'll find her, she does some really good tutorials, but I did a horse. Um, there's boots and the hat and the star and also these little um, horseshoes, they, they were made a few days ago, they've got tylos in them and they're um, just so they can go nice and hard and ready to put on the cake. Everything's um, been put on with royal icing to keep it in place and hopefully most things will um, pull away and the horse will be able to take be taken off and the little boy can have fun with those things. Um, the bottom of the cake, which is the jeans obviously, this was, um, it's all got the stitching in, which was done, see if you can see there, with that little gadget. Um, I actually, this piece here, the, the pocket and the hole of the front is a full piece of fondant. But I started off by um, covering the bottom just like you would a normal cake. So that's a separate piece. And then I started to put on the, the seams and the pockets, seam at the back. And then the last thing to go on was the, um, I was going to say belt, it's not a belt. Waistband. The top is, um, it, it was, I wanted it to be red and a nice bright red. Um, because it's a, a three-year-old, I didn't want the jeans to be. I wanted the jeans to be quite um, bright, and I wanted the top to be bright. But unfortunately, the gel um, colours don't always get there. Um, so I actually used this, which my lovely husband got for me from America. Can't get it in New Zealand. And the horseshoes were done with these two cutters I just cut that out and then place that inside and cut it out and then place the circle inside and cut all the little horseshoes out and then with the end of that I did the little I don't know what you call it but the little piece that's cut out there and I, I actually used um what did I use a matchstick so that we've got the little square nail holes. Um, the Liam was cut out with um, a letter set that I've got for cakes. And I think that's it really. So if you want to make the same thing, I think there's quite a bit of information in there. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.